Hello guys, so in today's video I am going to show you how to create this very simple wound using special effects makeup. So if you want to see how I achieved it, then just keep watching. So first things first, you're going to need a box of tissues. You're also going to need some liquid latex. Liquid latex is super simple to work with and great for beginners and I love to use the flesh coloured one. You're also going to need some brushes. So you're going to need a brush for your cream paints as well as brushes for your eyeshadows and a paintbrush to apply your liquid latex with. You're also going to want to use a pair of tweezers and I'll show you exactly why a little bit later on. You're also going to want either some cream paints or water activated paints. Uh, so this is just the Ben Eye Cream palette and I absolutely love this for all my special effects looks. And you're also going to want an eyeshadow palette with, you know, browns, greys, red tone shadows in there as well. I'm using a foundation today as well, but this isn't necessary. It's just if you want to make the latex blend in a little better with your skin. And of course you're going to need some fake blood. So this is just the one I make myself. Uh, I have a video up on how I make this, which I will leave in the description down below if you want to check that out. So the first thing you're going to do is separate a piece of tissue, just so you have one super thin layer. You're then going to start uh, ripping long pieces off, just like you can see in the video. But basically they don't have to be perfect, uh, you can have some thin bits, some thick bits, but you are going to want around 5 to 10 pieces. We're then grabbing our latex and paintbrush and we're going to start applying the latex to our skin. So you want to make sure your skin is completely free of, you know, any creams, moisturizers or makeup. And the process itself is actually pretty simple and quite self-explanatory. So basically you're just going to want to apply the latex in the shape that you want your wound and then follow that with pieces of tissue. So you're just going to continue to apply the latex and tissue one after another. When you're applying the tissue, make sure you're placing it faced sort of up as opposed to laying flat on the skin. This will create like the flappy skin look. <laughs> you're also going to want to make sure that each layer dries before you place the next layer on top. Otherwise it will just go a bit wet and soggy and a bit flat. So when it is almost dry, you'll have something that looks a little bit like this. And now we are going to start carving out the proper shape of the wound and using a metal spatula or your tweezers to remove some of that built up latex in the middle. You can also use your tweezers to kind of push up the inside bit of the tissue so that it looks like the skin is folded up. Next we're going to take our foundation and just apply it to the area just so that the latex blends in with our skin a little better. Now we're going to add some colour to make our cut come alive. So I'm just starting with the eyeshadows and I'm just blending those lightly around the outside of the wound. Next we're going in with our cream paints and we're just going to start 
defining and adding dimension to the inside of the cut just by using darker colours such as black, deep purple and deep reds. You're going to want to get as close to the edge as possible and even use your brush to kind of push up the tissue and get right under there. That's what will give you a really deep wound effect. As you work the colour in, you're going to want to place a bright red in the very centre so that it goes from dark to light. When you're happy with the inside of the cut, you're just going to use your cream paints and red and purple shades and just pop it on the outside of the wound. The next step isn't necessary, but if you're wanting to add a bit more texture to the inside of the cut, you're just going to grab a cotton ball or cotton pad and just break that up. You're just going to want to use your liquid latex to stick that down into the middle of the cut. You're then going to just use a red cream paint just to blend that in a little better. And last but certainly not least, we are going to apply some fake blood. So I love to just put it uh, directly in the center of the cut, a little bit around it, and I always love to do a drip at the bottom. So there you have it, a super easy way to create a very realistic looking wound. Like I said, latex is super simple to work with and it just takes some practice and experimenting. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.